here in South Williamsport. Dug out, and yeah, we can do backflips, standing up. Go get him, Eli. We'll be back with the first pitch after this. The Little League World Series on ESPN is presented by T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Welcome back, everyone. We are in South Williamsport, Pennsylvania, getting ready for another Little League World Series game. Gorgeous night here. And running, sprinting out of the field, go the team from Washington. We're going to focus on Texas first because they will bat in the top of the first. Texas West, Reggie Regala is their manager. We're going to go with a little painted action. Home of the big country, that's right, population 123,000 at the Dias Air Force Base. Before they come to the plate, let's meet them all. My name is Stetson Newman, and my favorite emoji is the sunglasses. My name is Ella Bruning, and my favorite dessert is cheesecake. My name is Golden Scholes, and my favorite baseball player is All Naomi right, Mitchell. folks, we are Dylan back Bruning, here on Championship Court. Dave Fleming Martin, here with the winners, Leia Jansen, J.W. Johnson, moving Casey on Houston. to my the bronze Blake medal match. And, and J.W., what was the difference in that Nelson, match against two very talented players? Uh, my name is Landry Pate, and my favorite actor is Kevin Hart. My name is Major Del Santos, and my favorite season is winter. Hi, my name is Miles McCarty, and my favorite band is Casting Crowns. My name is Dylan Regala, and my favorite emoji is the wink emoji. My name is Jackson Rissen, and my favorite food is did work, and Leia, I know we've talked a lot Texas about Rangers. the mental part of this game. Viewers may not know that you guys have fended off match points down the in the Reggie backdrop Regala today. Is the manager what has down that enabled you to, to stay focused offense. and get all the way now here? You're going to be playing okay, in a metal yes, match yes, okay. in about an hour. Um, I just think we're going to be on the mound. And, you know, if you haven't got a look day, at him, he is a big, big kid out there. Left-hander, left throw downhill to Casey Parrish, the center fielder, get things rolling here. So I think it's five ten one sixty. It feels like six ten one eighty. So next up, you've got. A very talented team in Riley in Newman and Catherine Parenteau. Sure. What's the plan there, and what do you think that match strikes. is going to look like? Punch outs in six uh, and two thirds. That's going to be a grind. Started they got some speed. of the best defense in the game, yeah. so the corner, it's going to be like that's, five, six, seven shots. That's Gavin Weir like away. numbers. So we Gavin Weir is going to become a name ready for people a tough know one. because we've seen. So we're going to have an awesome bronze medal match between these two. Delivery exactly the same. Catherine Parenteau and Riley Newman. So folks, here's the deal. We, we are, are going to be we switching did. over to ESPN Plus Absolutely. in about side an hour. By side with Chris Sale. So it looked very find us on sure ESPN did. Plus for That's a good fastball right the there. We're even up two and Lance two. Johnson and J.W. Lightning. Johnson has earned the, the right to play on ESPN Cherry. Plus today. So I'm Dave Fleming. Come back. We're going to cut the stream here, and we'll be back in an hour. Come they see us then. Nickname. Thanks so much for watching the Jigsaw Tournament of Champions. Full three balls, two strikes. Mason Parrish, five foot two, ninety six. Trying to get on base to get this thing rolling. Ball. And he will. That's outside. Ooh. All right, mom's okay <laughs> now. Oh, we got it. Another right, job done. We got a little, little bit frustrated. Only one they hitter in here. here. But, uh, very highly talented player. And here comes the manager's son, Dylan. Mark had a big opportunity there, caught the tape. Down, the nice block behind the, the plate. Jackson Wheeler, a couple Ekmark of good catches. Four side. Tonight, and Jackson Wheeler, and of course, Ella Bruning on the other side. Play. Reggie Regal has been a coach for 10 years. State tournament with his 15-year-old, 2016. They lost to West oh. Dallas in the section. Here we are, as far as you can go. We thank got Thomas Pecor for his service. For just joining us just hey, back a like month ago. Navy helicopter pilot. Yellow had five hits, 13 at bats in the regional. Like that one, he swung at it. Two balls and a strike. Young goes for the speed up. He hit 385. The team hit two homers the in the regional, and this guy had them both. Defense Not up the middle, get out of the way. ready for anything. Eli so Jones and Steinbach at oh. second. Sails deep, but deep off the USA shirt of people. It's a point.
Good job by Brasha Ooh. to fight that off. Three balls, two strikes. Parrish the leadoff walk. Regala will be followed by Carter Nelson. Good job He's by the third baseman. Keeping oh. engaged. Well, it's a very, very tight strike Second zone to start here. this game, and that's not going to sit well with Sanath or anybody three, three, that's going to hit the mound if it stays like that. Greater. I think you're so used to, to catchers at the major league level that can make pitches look better UConn than they are, and it's tough for kids at this age because they're not quite framing. That would maybe take him down out of the zone, but it looks like a pretty good pitch. Oh. Not used to it, and you can see Cherry looking into DJ his Young and dugout for some help from his down. manager, no, Rich Todd. No way that they can keep his composure as he faces three, three, Carter two. Nelson. Gets the strike call there, and it's one ball, one strike. Sometimes Nelson had a huge reach, no hit. You leave a 500. Short, you get in trouble. Pecor Six for 12. The opening, and that's early. Take the lead, 4-3. For Texas West, now one and two. Problem with the tighter strike zone early too is you get a pitch count up already at 15 for the right. first inning. Will reply at your feet, P4, unable to reset that one. 52 and six yesterday. Right. One and two. This one to short. The flip to second for one. Not in time on the relay from Walt Steinbach. So they get one. P4 wants to get that nice backhand overhead there by. I think if you're Washington, you'd take that any day. Ground ball up the middle. It's hit a little bit harder. Maybe you got a chance, but Carter Nelson can get down the line. Yeah. At least you get that out so at second. Keep the line. double play in order. That brings up Jackson Wriston. Play. The 333 in the regionals. The cleanup hitter, the first baseman. Runner Beautiful. at third base, so watch on. Pass ball. Backhand good pitch, right number one. He's really been very ball. accurate tonight. A lot of good energy over here. Played umpire. Ask politely on the third of to July. Stay in the box to Jackson Wriston. Keep this spectacle in red, white, keep and blue. Keep it fluid. Oh. The idea by Ackmark shaking and baking her own ball. Just got to come in under control. Way too much running through. That goes well deep. That's out. That's white line. And I like the catcher asking the umpire where that ball was. He said a little bit out. Got a swing there. That's one of the things that's Check also contributed to, to it. Texas had not swung it very many pitches. Maggie Brosh no, is in. in. Four, four, one. Again, Char, he didn't walk that many guys in the region. Side Punched out a ton. I think he walked just two. That fastball had good life right there. First flick was high, but Eckmark okay. able to fight Looking that for a big back, strikeout. We deep. may see the base runner going. You kind of heard the third base coach say, okay, if he throws down, get ready to go. And that's foul. Almost foul. that was a wood battle. Would have been broken. Young returns the favor with Fmark having to chase all the way across oh, again. Oh, here we go. Friday night in Williamsport, and that shower is thankfully going the other direction. The left side of the court. But that is a rain shower. Looks pretty good. It really does. Especially that it's heading the other exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, it looks a lot, a lot better that way. Nice hands by Picor. They switched the ball. Up two there, strikes so they didn't to Wriston. Trouble on the switch. Make a play. Almost. Picor able to handle. Still make a play. Oh, oh right. Attack. I didn't think that. Where did that come? Oh, so we on the top, top shelf. My bad. We went top shelf. We rattled around twice and dropped. I right didn't realize left. we had a little window up there. Yeah. I got to oh, remember that next time. It's right there. In the back. One of those. Got Wriston and the runner down to second. We have to fake the throw. And first base occupied, so the batter is out. That out for you. Yeah. Stolen yeah. base so for what, Nelson. Uh, Two down. They can do to add to the lead. So now Chari on the mound. How about coming back? I mean, you walk the first two guys. Zone is really tight. And they get a ground ball to shortstop for the first out. Now he comes back and strikes out. Step back, drive. The cleanup hitter. They may be had a chance here to throw a piece of Hits third. the top of the oh, tape. There, but instead, oh, now still one pitch away from getting out of one. Ball one to Landry Pate. He is your left fielder tonight. This will be a huge Young comes at bat. Over and rips one Charlie's at trying the to get out of it. Backhand and guess what? It got two on, right nobody out. Got him. Nice shot. Haven't by scored a run there. yet. Well. Brasha coming in hot there. Saw a ball up. Came in under control though there and found a winner. And if they get the next point, we will switch sides at eight. 
Secor steps in here to volley this one. See that right there, right on the line. Two balls Jim and a Ryan strike. Saw that all the way. Calls Ooh. the football in oh, the kitchen. Inside one, even though the catcher didn't have an easy time catching switch. it, it was over the plate. And now we're even up at two balls, two strikes. 26 pitches Young have been thrown. Russia. Doubling up. You can throw 85. This is a big so first far. inning for Chari. Beautiful day here in Newport Beach. Speed with first base open. He misses three balls, two strikes. We are at the Pickleball Club in Newport Beach, and this is part of the USA Pickleball Championship Series. Got him there, and that's a really strong We're comeback after a here. frustrating start for Sanam Chari. Country. We'll talk about that we'll find out. Maggie keep your composure, keep your head. His whole team went out to celebrate his effort. Third just catches. Landry the net and, uh, gave it a chance, but it's strike chance. three and zero across. Welcome back, Williamsport. Long Again, way away from Samantha's Washington. They're coming to the plate for the first time. Bottom opponents. one, Abilene, Their Texas, strands a couple. Will improve. That ball was and a good job by Sarnath Chari to get out of that. Balance. That ball is always going to sail Rich Todd as it there by Reggie Ekmar. Regala sends his team out of the field. 20 miles east of Seattle, population 65,000. And Swats a couple of really away. good things that come out of Washington With and Sammamish. Coffee, yes. Salmon, yes. Don, yeah. he is the manager. He started he coaching when he was 15 yeah, yeah, yeah. years old. Coach his younger brother when he was only seven. Yet in pickleball. There he is with the sun. Can flick it at you, block at it. At the Little League World Series. Dylan no, Regala on the mound. The First guy here. he faces, Eli Jones. That's a good one in there, the strike California number one. Enjoying a perfect California day. And he and Maggie Brasher and Maggie played with her sister, seven. Not even a bad day. So I'll go with both. Same meal if we have some real good left battles. field may hang up and, and it does one right catch for Landry Pate good Young read off the bat with Jeff Warnick in the men's pro doubles we're back at 11 4 1 so Eli who had a regional in which he was 7 for 11 with a double and six singles retired and now Logan Roush number two hole hitter number three had a very good regional as well hit 500 four singles and a double Team had one homer. That's bounced. Just obscene reach and angle. By Kellen Kinney, who will bat next. Makes it look effortlessly sometimes, as he did in that point. Moving Eckmark and Pecor, two very talented athletes, moving all over that court. Dylan you know, bounced that, so we're 2-0. Oh. Stretching out that right leg of his. He's got a little delay and a terrific block by Ella behind the and plate. there's that disguise. But nothing else helped out. The umpire did. Young shows the right forehand there. Right. down the line and then That's flicks it inside the out the last second. Just at to check right behind Ella. And Eckmark and Pico are going to keep emptying the vault yeah. on the timeouts as well. They should. They're new. This is their first turn. Let's use it all. They may be the first... Team, and I'm going to just go there in history that had their first two matches at their first oh. tournament on the live stream. I'm just going there. So, love the battle. Obviously, bring hey, a lot of bat. ability good. here. Now it's just going to be finding the fundamentals, dropping that. It could take a while to get choices. all that gear off, too. I mean, but you couldn't see the skin. Off of them running <laughs> on Logan Rouse's left arm. In we've the got the sleeve. We've got the, DJ Young and the guard on. We've got a lot of talented players. Batting on the other gloves, side. wristband. That's a good combo. See if they can. Kellen Kinney next Propel up, dangerous hitter. That one's bounced that and off. doesn't get away from Ellen. She's quick out to make sure no advancement from Logan Roush. Five foot eight, 125 is the hitter. Nickname is and Powbell. That, uh, Sister started calling the name. Why not? We'll stick with it. High and we are at match point. Well, Gala has thrown six straight balls. And that attack smashes into the tape. Good win from Brasha and Young. Another one, another really again. good block. And Ella is Mark putting on a show behind here from them again. And because the right now, Dylan isn't close to the plate. He's close 3rd. to throwing a strike. Cannot she thank did. Thomas Pico and everyone. Four already. Currently, are in the military for their hands. service as we back. celebrate 
America's oh. birthday this yeah, weekend. Uh, the hands aren't touching. There's a little bit of room in between, but it's a four-pitch walk in on the first base. Back-to-back so walks here for Washington. Yeah, yeah, Dave Fleming will be back yeah. with some more so great call pitch here as Reggie's going to come on. talk to his son, see what's going on. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Just relax. Yeah, you're good. That first pitch you got, huh? I know. Just, just throw strikes. You're good. Trust your defense. That's okay. It's just a little jitters right now. You're good. Just relax. Have fun. All right. You got this. Trust your defense. All right. You're good. Have fun. You're doing good. Doing great. Let's go. Hey, get up. Hey, we got four. Force one out. Forces. You got Eli Jones on a fly out to left to start things off and back to back walks. It's understandable to have a few jitters in this Absolutely situation. Absolutely right. 12 years old out in this spot. Here's the other pitcher, Sanoff Cherry. Five for ten at the regionals, four singles, and a double. Well, so if you're consistently, and he's been consistently down, yeah, is there something you do as a pitcher? And I think at this age, you, you want to you want to bring that target up a little bit just to see if you can change your eye level when you're standing at, standing at 46 feet away. The Look other thing you heard his dad say when he came out there is just trust the people behind you. Don't try to miss bats at this point. Just let's simplify, start over the middle of the plate and get ahead, then we can start going, moving the ball off the plate after that. Ball. Straight out. Very patient approach from both teams. And a danger of walking three in a row. Sometimes it just takes one. He sets the mind a little bit, you can get back into a group. Right back at him, he'll go to third for one. And long throw, late throw. Oh, that's a big block over there. Jackson Riston kind of got in front of it just enough to make sure it didn't get past him. And the runner cannot advance in second. Good job by Dillon to field his position. All right, so walk two in a, two in a row. You go to a 3-0 count. And he came back through two strikes in a row. One's a ground ball right back to him. It made his mind up before that he was going to go to, to third base first. But you said it, Jackson Riston. That one gets his body, stays in front. Base runners can't advance. He may have used his wrist in to stop that ball. Here's Walter Steinbach, and he swings at the first one, and that's fouled off. Yeah. Here we go, big Walt, four, seven, six, eight. That's pounds. Good swing and a much better pitch. He's starting to elevate that ball a little bit, and that's the strike zone. That's the happy zone right now for Dylan Regala. Three. three. On the corner strike three, Dylan Regala settles down. In fact, both pitchers able to withstand the little early walk case. Ella Bruni's coming up when we come back. have to go to practice. <laughs> <laughs> Ella wins. I mean, Ella just wins. Nope. Now she's at the plate. And she'll have to face Sanath Chari. We head to the second inning of this Little League World Series game. First game for both of these teams. That was the catcher. And she bats ball. with a square to punt. Pulls it back. Ball one. Very engaging Young lady, Ella Bruning, five foot three hundred pounds. She's a softball star. So I've seen a number of baseball players try to hit really good softball pitchers and have zero chance. Right. Now, does this does it challenge Ella as a softball player to be able to hit somebody throwing overhand the same way it would a baseball player hitting underhand? One, two. Yes, but she hasn't had a whole lot of problem with it. But you're right. When you, when you put a baseball player in there to face the softball pitcher for the first time, it doesn't work out very well for the hitter. Oh. 
All right, folks, we are back next up on I love the our She started playing a few years ago. Here at the Pickleball hey, Club at Newport Beach. Then, then we then have the two seed, the Lion team again. Jansen, now I'm here. and Tyson McGuffin battling. And 11 year old brother McGrath Dylan on the team as well. Deacon that one is into left, and it's going to get and down. Folks, here you go. Tyson McGuffin is going for the triple crown today. World Series history, and she's aboard with a single. Trying to put a third crown on top of that head. We will be right back First with this the night in just a minute. So there's the answer to your question. Not a problem. <laughs> it works just fine. Thank you. Single to left off the bat of Ella Bruning. First hit of the night for the team from Texas. Comes from the starting catcher. Now Miles McCarty. On reserves, all that excitement. Linda is the mom. USA Pickleball National Championship. Good looking swing. Got her back foot locked. Planted that front foot and exploded to left. Miles, the shortstop on this team. That's it. The dirt can't be found. Ella's going to go. Here's the throw down. She's still on a base. Real good read. She recognized Jackson Wheeler, couldn't find it. I think the, eye, the eyes of, of catchers are a little bit different when they're on the base pass because they, they, they get a better jump on balls like this. This didn't go that far away. I mean, it's just underneath the legs of Jackson Wheeler. But yet Ella thought it was far enough away. It was far enough away. She's standing at second base. Now a 3-0 count on Miles McCarthy. Featuring patented smart cells cushioning. Pickleball Central. Paddles, nets, shoes, and more at PickleballCentral.com. Julie, what do you got? Carl, I'm down here with Ella's mom, Lindy. And uh, Lindy, how are we doing after that hit? Only the seventh girl to get a hit in the Little League World Series, by the way. Super exciting. So, um, yeah, she hasn't, uh, she struggled actually hitting, so that was pretty impressive. I know she's excited. I, I know I'm even nervous, so I can only imagine, as you are as a mom, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing great right now. Um, you know, nervous going in. I'm always nervous about the games, but honestly, she's always prepared. So You've got your younger son, Dylan. Dylan as well on the team. Dad's coaching as well. It's a whole family affair out there. How did Ella, though, she said it was a joke with the family. How did she get into baseball? Well, she um, actually has a 15-year-old brother as well. So, um, you know, he played All-Stars all three years. So he's up to this point as well. And that was always a dream of his. And she played with them and snag balls during their practices. And we just joked around <laughs> that she's going to play baseball one day. <laughs> so she, she said, I'll do it. And she did. She said, let's stop joking, Mom. Let's do this right. for real. How, how does it feel when you see the girls and how they're inspired by Ella? And I know this is all young kids on the team here. But tell us about that experience as well. It's awesome. And so, I mean, we joke about um, Ella's kind of got her hair down. I always tease Ella. I said, you have to wear your hair some way. I can tell you're a girl. You can't look like a boy. So we came up with the bubbles. And so she's uh, worn those the most of the season. And the girls have followed suit. <laughs> You guys are rocking all the bubbles, I see, huh? This is Dylan's right, younger sister, folks, Aislinn. Aislinn, how cool is it to see back. Ella out there? Really cool. Here. In Newport Beach, beautiful What do you want to say to her when she's Great done with the game? Great day for pickleball. Just, um, let's not win, I folks. That's a slight ocean breeze coming in here team. onto the court. Just a great job. Leah Jansen I agree. and Tyson great McGuffin. Job. And great cheering by you all. First tournament together. All right, Mom, very I'll let you watch the game. Great job. Know each other's games Center field. Well. Kitty running over. He makes a half. nice catch. And no advancing the back from plan. one of the top Ella Canadians. at second base. I love Lindy saying she was out there with a 15 year old brother snagging baseball. Well. Like, I love the term. But he was snagging the sport both on and off the court. Yeah. His partner oh, no today, Christine McGrath, another talented player from the We've Franklin team. We've got some traffic on the bases. So, uh, they had two men we're on. We're going to have a good battle here again, first, as I mentioned, in this when case, I set they have up this one tournament. man, if you will, and, and one woman on. The two base runners, this and we're back to the top of the order the for Casey for Parrish. Off speed, swings ahead of it at the strike. Here. And, uh, it starts the here. Next they pitch got a buy for in the first round, so this is a will put him over the round match. McGrath and Deacon halfway mark to 85. Yana Gretchkina oh. and Ben Good Newell, 11-6, 8-11, 11-9. To advance was the first to this match. We're to have a hit at the Little League World Series and in we'll 2014. Bonnie Davis shortly. had the last. Sitting right here, we have a lot of that. Terrific USA Pickleball certified referee will be calling it for us. Appreciate everything all of the referees do. We cannot play without them. 
as a player and as a broadcaster. Cannot thank them enough for all that they do for our sport, and I can't thank the volunteers. In the dirt make a that gets by, and now Ella's going to move up, and possible. so is Miles. Hey, pick Love him up, now, pick him up. Lots of fans two, two, two. here enjoying two, two. the action. Love that we've got perfect weather for you. And, and Deacon and McGrath are looking for a couple more well, minutes of warm up, Regala which has been granted. So uh, yeah. now three and two. This match for be you. Be careful here to up for him. About 90 seconds, folks. We'll be right back. I'm Dave Fleming. He gets the team's two homers in the regionals. Now a field about midway. Not deep. This one's by. Here comes Ella Bruning. She's going to score the first run of the night. A hit, a stolen base, and now a run for Ella. And it's 1 0. Okay, folks, it's Texas a Southwest. Good job. 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 Good Wildly Little League bench right now. Lead off single, ends up at second, moves around the third, together. and then scores on the pitch so and we'll goes to the backstop. So we'll be on ESPN Plus this afternoon from 2 to 5 Pacific. That's 5 o'clock Eastern start. Go to ESPN.com or download the iOS really or Android app. 50, 50 Sign up or log in. Long click long on go schedule ahead and, and replay. Right nice and then, job, nice job. Hey, hey, now. Good job. So that's how right, we catch this this <laughs> afternoon as right, we get into the middle of the drill, right? In this tournament, folks, is part of the USA Pickleball Championship Series. Really good. I got it from there. We're here in Newport Beach. We will advance to... Utah for Tournament of Champions in August, and then we come east. You're watching ESPN's the coverage of the Little League Pickleball World Series presented by T-Mobile. Hilton Head all the way to the other. Buddy. We go from the Kyle Pacific Peterson, to the Carl Atlantic. Robert. It's a glorious night here we'll in South Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Lomity with just friends and family. As Little League wants USA to extend Pickleball a special National thank you to its official sponsors, Lance Sandwich Crackers, Adidas as well. They help maintain sport, strength, again, the leadership folks, of this Little League December program. Little League also wants to thank all the dedicated volunteers who make the program such a neat experience for the millions of children. You get, in this game. you get a golden Eli Jones, ticket. Eli Jones' best pitcher now draw, on for Washington to face ticket. the best hitter, Amateurs Dylan Regala. Golden tickets Three for years back, he's going to get strike one. For this year, 2021. So 50 pitches, and they're moving Chari out. So he's Curry available earlier than he would if he goes Leia over that Jansen, threshold. The Breaking pitch, laced to center. Oh, what a catch by Logan Roush out there in center. Go get it, Logster. Jansen and McGuffin. Uh, he, was, he was comfortable with the play. He just the wasn't quite sure about his right fielder coming up. Look on McGrath. his face when he got up. was like, I caught it. We're good. Don't Paired worry. With now we just got to get to him. Steve Deacon from Canada. McGrath will serve to start it. Oh, yes. And again, best two out of three <laughs> here, folks. Piece of cake. Logan had it the whole way. Just moved into center field. It'll find you. Owensville, Tennessee, hard luck in. loser. Brown was unbelievable. Catches. Scott Brown, the head coach, the assistant McGuffin coach at Vanderbilt, so his son. Hard second. luck, one nothing Love loss. Hooks at New Hampshire. That's at one on ESPN. Point. Three o'clock will be on ABC. Connecticut and New Jersey get a chance to see Todd Frazier's nephew. And Manchester had a homer to lead the game off in their opener and ended up losing. Palm City will take on the loser of this one, Pennsylvania and Louisiana, eight o'clock Eastern time. A little late night action on a Saturday. ESPN at 8. It's a nice sight just to see a couple of the folks out there enjoying a beautiful night here at the Little League World Series. Again, friends and family, 250 of them each Great team. Great lob midpoint by Big swing from James Orton, the third. When you lob, it's Strike produces number one. opportunity. He got there. Brody Martin's got to play first base. And to keep the point going at that and Dylan point Dylan Regala continues to throw 19 pitches now. Wasn't able to finish now. it off with a dink earlier, and they're up two right off the start. Oh. One on one. Two. That one is bounced. 
So you got James Worth the third. His favorite team is the Seattle Kraken. His favorite player is Alex Ovechkin. You get where this is going. He's also said that he thinks it's harder to win a Stanley Cup than it is a World Series trophy. Whip it around the post. Deacon unable to. Well, that's just a back. hockey guy. He just loves, nice yeah, shot. loves the pucks and has a great respect for those that play. And just Getting thinks it's a really, really Deacon difficult thing to win the cup. Ball. It Went is the right best trophy for sure in sports. To me, folks, that's how focused that I sails am here That's for a walk, so and that's the third walk issued by Dylan Regal. That would agree. I don't think he can beat the Stanley Cup. <laughs> British Open maybe close. Uh, I kind of went for majors, but I hear you. Yeah. I, mean, I, I like what you did there. When all Clara jug on me, I hadn't anticipated that. And a faked right went left. That's what I'll do every <laughs> a once in a while. Bit. Wider Rosewalt next up. Good swing, a little late on it. And a big lead from James Fort the third. He's going to be aggressive over there. Riders 5 1 1 10. Love it. Favorite player, Bo Jackson. Two sports superstar. We square yes, he it. Did. That's a strike. Throw down to first. No, 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 That's no, no, into right no, field. No, there's, there's your there's there's aggressive there's 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 base there's runner. There's we throw there's behind him. And he's just playing his own little game out there. James is going to wow. have fun. We're at the World wow. Series. I'm going to do Fans what I want to do. I like that secondary. Show it off. Beautiful top spin lob by Bruni James. Back behind the ball. The point. And Deacon and McGrath <laughs> were able to fight that off. And then a base running right there. A mistake there. First and base goes. Go, go, go. Stay, stay, stay. Go, go, go. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> it worked. That's a, That's a swing a and a miss. First that base occupied. Ella throws down. That one gets into center field. So the runner is out because first base was occupied, but on the ball getting away a little bit from Ella, he steals second base. Court thinking you'll see that. You could just pro. you could smell that one a mile away. Mixed. James is just green Women light. Dinking, green light James. He was, he, he was a little jumpy Deacon from the get over there, and yeah, the minute he saw that ball in the dirt, he was off and running, just beat the throw. Now he's going to he do a little house cleaning out at second base. The guy can do absolutely the middle that time. Second serve. So Ella, she's aware now. We got a guy out there that's going to test us. Big swing by McGuffin, sails wide. Ball. Great points right off the start here. Four talented players on the court. Tied at two. 5 6 1 17 from Tian. Ball. Mm. 2 0. Oh. Pretty good. It's up the upper part of the zone. For those the baseline are, those are pretty good. At, uh, Under the armpit. The feet and gets a, gets a miss. Kneecap, strike zone, Little League. Third. It's right at the base of it and a strike. So two balls and a strike. 2 1. Jansen step back forehand, beats McGrath on the outside on the line. Beautiful shot there by Jansen. Good stuff, man. I mean, when it comes out of his hand, that fastball's got a little bit of jump. Working with a tight zone, but he's right back pumps two fastballs by him after a strike. Awesome scamper on both sides on the balls that clipped the tape there. That's and that fouls that off. We got a good game from wide. Julie Fowdy, who continues to come up with new games. They're going to play with Sewell here. Let's name the Capitals, like the state Capitals, and then after we get done with the U.S. Capitals. We're going to quiz him on all the world's countries capitals, to go which there, and he, he was knows ready those for as well. Wow. The right. ball after the one that McGrath this one to hadn't right even hit and yet. He saw that two points ahead. into foul territory. It's probably a game that we should stay out of. Yep. No, no, no. That's out. just a foudy thing. Okay. Yeah. Nebraska. Great job. Is it not Bob Omaha? McGrath of pulling Jansen not wide Omaha, and then going back done this in behind her with the backhand, huh? setting up yeah, the deacon put away. Hey, I don't want to brag, yeah. but um, I did interview a kid who could name all 50 states in under 25 oh. seconds. Kyle Arati. Hey. Could you do yes. it? Yes, 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 I can. Oh, come on. I promise you I can. I learned the song when I was in grade school. I promise you I can do it. Yeah, yeah. You don't believe Jansen it? Saw um, ball. I don't believe you. There is, if he knows the attack, song, he's going to do it. Wide. And here we go. 
We got the, we got Go. the stopwatch up Alabama, here. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arizona Arkansas, California, Colorado, 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 Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Mexico, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York. How many New Mexicos? There's two. <laughs> and uh, I just tapped out. We're in 19. Uh, well, you were getting there. I didn't, warm up. I didn't even get a warm up. Uh, I didn't even get a stretch. The Julie, that's not the fair. The tape helps I had such confidence in you for a while. I had not. around McGuffin. Yeah, you were flying. You were Excellent doing great. Execution by that was impressive. That was coming out of the gates way wide too fast. And low. <laughs> way <laughs> too fast. You, so you realize I'm skiing down a mountain yes. and I can't stop. I don't have brakes. <laughs> Well, you'll have to Speed dial up Sewell to see what he can Again, do, Julius, later. The Franklin X40 ball. Here's the official well, after ball. After the back-to-back -back punch outs Jackson and Wheeler bats in the nine spot. Got a six James Ward out there McGrath itching to Deacon. run run again. Ball. One on one. Yeah, Ella, what I like about her here, she catches it and just fires it to the right. pitcher. You you take the ball. You, oh. you can dance out there if you want to. I'm going to get it back to yep. the pitcher, and then there's nowhere you can go. Look out. Just out of the way. That's a great catch. Probably didn't even see it go into the glove as the batter had to avoid getting hit in the shoulder area. Jansen ready on the forehand, but not now. ready on the other Got a two -one side. Count. The timeout was definitely... In order there is McGrath and Deacon with very, very clean pickleball here. Consistent at the kitchen line. Deacon stepping in when opportunity like arises. To get top McGrath, of the order, Eli ATP Jones. off the post. Or off Do the tape next. that gave her that opportunity. Oh, it's very consistent. Oh, right. Hold on a second here. Okay. A couple of errors. We're going to have an umpire say. That's how a five-point deficit. What just happened? I thought he was calling it back because he leaned in. So I like in. the timeout now. I know uh, just happened, but I know it hit him. Jansen and Mc McGuffin. He is where he should be. It sounded different because it got him right on that elbow pad, and he wasn't moving that arm for sure. <laughs> we see that in some other. I don't think I've ever seen a little league kid. That, they've been down a lot more. I mean, that granted, you get the elbow pad on, but so. he didn't mind getting hit right there. No. I wouldn't like Time that. is back in Now here. Eli Jones, best hitter McGrath on the team, the shortstop now pitching. Confident. What a great play by Ella there behind the plate. Short hops it. You know you got a runner at second who can run. Deacon reaches in and just you know. kicks it into the tape and Good time out by Jansen and McGuffin. Let's see if they can get something going down five. Back up the middle. That's got some top spin and it's through. Held at third base. Thought we were going to test the arm out there, but he held him. Two out. All that speed. McGuffin Instead, exactly the brakes get wanted. put on Close for James Ford. Yep, I've got that one. Eli Jones single, and we are now loaded. James Ord doesn't like the brakes getting I didn't think so. It's, it's not really his speed. Now bases loaded, two outs. Urban Rouse gets his second to bat after making a great play to end the last half inning. Little Logie. Looking for the ATP again and just couldn't curl it around Almost. the post there. And a little speed on it Missed coming it back wide. up here. Again, catching. He's a Mariner Deacon fan. On the Seattle run Mariners there. have been a very pleasant Ball story post, this year in Major League Baseball, that. right in the thick of the American League wild card race. He'll one to Roush. Step ball, back. Ball. That's a foul right off of the helmet of Ella Bruning behind the plate. And that is red. Now 0-2. Some errors on the other side, and Steve Deacon's seen enough of this run. So we go from. 7-2 to 7-5. At 7-2, a smart timeout called by Jansen and McGuffin. That's a self one zip. Washington loaded 0-2. Popped up playable. Wrist in foul territory makes the play. And they will leave the bases loaded. A uh, little different you know, than what we just saw on Volunteer, which was the combined no hitter with all the strikeouts. We got McGuffin runners. Just we just got one one. With the Dinks cross court. So is Oregon. 
and Sioux Falls, Great South Dakota. By McGuffin. The team the from Honolulu. Just there they all are. Hit the tape. They wear masks. Changed they play the with their masks on. And the height just slightly was able to fight it back, and the ground they, sails that they deep. Are always going to be a force. Every time a Hawaii team comes, they seem to end up in a U.S. championship game, and more often than not, they win it. Last five times a Hawaii right. team has been here. They've Decent. And there's no Great worse than third place. Yeah. It's a high bar to towards set. Jansen that he could intercept Kellen again. Kinney, this one may be playable. Ah, with those balls, ah, he kind of kept looking over at it. Sanaf Chari at the wall. The tee, and he obviously was familiar with the foul territory in. here. Hit a winner. So no play. Drive by Jansen a little high. McGrath smokes it at McGuffin and unable to block that back in the court. Nelson Riston, Landry Payne. Look out. And Eli Jones. We'll Great see what kind of pitch limit he's on. Phenomenal angle by Deacon there. Again, thrilled to have Deacon back Washington's on the court. Trying to work around. Not necessarily Open. having the depth maybe Better that other teams have. So they're trying to figure out how we can maximize the guys that we really, really trust. Well, I mean, so winner gets tomorrow off. Loser comes back and plays tomorrow yeah. right away. Ball. Carter Nelson draws the walk. Right. Right. Texas scored in the second. Ella Bruning led things off with a single. She then stole second base. Great play. Moved up to McGuffin third and came there, in on a pass ball. Deacon saw something Jason he liked Riston. there and tried to flip down one. the middle. Should say Brody McGuffin Martin now, who's right pinch hitting. Brilliant reply. Four substitute players for Texas Southwest, and that's a swing and a miss. We may have some lightning within about 10 McGuffin miles. Again in the middle looking for and something that he can. clear certainly here in Williamsport with blue skies. But when the point is he did that, just get within a certain proximity, they're going to pull the kids Deacon off the and field. McGrath feel that pressure. Good news is it's moving the other way. At least, at least at one point it was, but it seems that that was a while ago. Is it just There's stuck the there? Shake and bake I'm just going to keep the protection and safety of the players that are on the field, and certainly the fans that are in the stadium as well. So in the top of the third, we're in a delay for the next oh. 25 or so minutes in a one-nothing game. What a shame! Texas After scored in Deacon the got his second inning. Steps and Calabruni led in things there, off. The Canadian and she turned this pitch around. It was a single in the left. Got that left foot Calls down and she was at first base. Covering. And she didn't Not stop just there. This court, but the Stole court second on the ball that just barely got away the from the catcher Club Jackson Newport Wheeler. Beach. And realized, what all right, now's a good time that. to move to third. Tons of lobs, tons of track downs. So in a sense, Ella sometimes created the entire run. Out. Yeah, I mean, leadoff single, that was the first hit the only hit so far that for your Texas own physical health. And that Second is on a ball that barely got away. There. Third on a pass on a ball that got to the backstop and a good break right one. there. And that, had the lead that's our only run of the ball game. Good work, Ella here. Seventh girl in the history of the Little League World Series. At the end of a brilliant rally. And the first since 2014 with at Monet the Pickleball Davis. Club at Newport Beach. There's and been a bunch of walks in this game. Southern Tight California strike zone to start. Maybe Perfect after the delay. Tight zone maybe widens a little bit. Give the pitcher's the benefit of the doubt. Sounds all right. It's one Christine nothing McGrath here. Regala in two and innings. Deacon again three strikeouts. And Sanaf Chari's already been Not taken sure out of the McGrath. game. He had four walks. He also had three strikes. But they were dealing, I think, with her Canadian kind of a pitch not, count. Got an uh, email from a fan of the of team. Canada. Of course, it calls Texas West home. It had to do with the fact that one of the better pitchers suffered an injury for Texas West. Blaze Ruffin hurt a growth plate in the and state tournament. Finally got operated on the next week. Nine within two, so he's game one, obviously not and McGrath. with the team. So Texas West was a little deeper prior to that injury. And you can say that about a lot of teams around the country, injuries, et cetera. You had to deal with them. So we saw an unbelievable performance over there. And so far, again, you come back here. We're delighted to be here. It, defense is still the thing. That's the thing that jumps out here. When you went from the 13-year-olds to the 12, the power kind of 
was diffused a little, but the defense, especially up the middle, is always mind blowing. Another Powers brilliant diffused exchange a little bit. here. Velocity is probably ready diffused for the a little forehand. bit, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I, I think the game's able a little to bit get out of the way and get his right paddle now, in position. Yeah, there. we continue to see every single year the just dexterity. some incredible defense. Ben Pearson brilliant yesterday. Brilliant there in word seven. Shortstop. I mean, two web gem plays in the first inning of the first game. Get those that hands. we're doing, and it's just continued since then. Ryan Pearson. Right? Ryan Pearson. Ryan Pearson. Pearson. He was great. And then Jansen we saw able to hit this guy, on Gavin that one. Weir, again there within one. did a split screen with him and Chris Sale. You're not going to see the split screen, but just for those baseball fans who know Chris Sale, imagine that's what Chris Sale had to look like when he was 12 years old. Had to. That's what he kind of looks like now. Yep. I mean, nice job by McGuff. Got that low three quarter slings that breaking ball in there. The Jansen only thing that stopped him. Complete his own no-hitter today is he went over the pitch limit, over 85 pitches through five and two-thirds. So you said it earlier, last three starts? Three starts, 45 strikeouts, and two walks. Two walks, yep. That usually Great works. Great job, Deacon. And when you're engaged, engaged, today, even though the ball is certainly more punch outs. And again, he won't be eligible. You know He's got a rest now put on that last one what for the, the full complement. Like. So Jack South Dakota Knight, will have to figure out a way to win without Gavin Weir. But again, he's, he's on the horizon for them. And that's a good start for them because the other pitcher was matching him from Louisiana pitch for pitch. It was a one nothing game until the sixth inning when they added some insurance. And it was Weir with a runner on third who was able to get the ball to the right side and bring in the second run. That's why, I mean, we love the whole run here. But the first two days are always so much fun because you, you see the aces. You see the guys that roll out there. And we've, we've seen the aces and we have seen plenty of others so far. Right. All right, so of course our brackets are named after two Hall of Famers, Tom Seaver and Hank Aaron. Big they returned to Williamsport after Jansen. the one-year hiatus due to that COVID-19, led to that decision with no international right tournament due to the travel restrictions. The so Little League headquarters over, came up with a new over. idea for the two brackets. And Chris Conley has much more on how Loved those names of the were fans founded. all around here and great the ump. deep return there by McGuffin. How were you with rain delays? Were you a storyteller? Were you a story listener? Uh, I think that was equal opportunity. I mean, it kind of depended on the day. Brilliant save by Come McGrath to really keep them ideas, in the though. point after McGuffin <laughs> had a ball he thought he could put away. Not only able to get it, but get it safely into the kitchen. Down there, catching and we've got a up. game point for McGrath and Deacon. Dylan Regala is going to come back out of the mound. Ella Bruning got everything going. A little single piece, and then she just rolled around the bases on some wild pitches, pass balls. There's a steal of second. She moved to third in a similar situation. And again, Slice Chari to the Deacon contributed to the run for unable to Wiley Little Leaguers. On the third, one game point is safe. That's it so far. Only run of the ball game, one hit apiece, but the only runs, Ella Bruni coming around after a leadoff single in the second to score. Hey, we're ready. We got action. We're back. While she gets ready for the next half, we have an 0 2 count. Drive was up. On our hitter, Into Brody that Martin. Backhand, one of the best backhands on the Pro Tour. One man on, that's Hits Carter Nelson. Jansen, he walked. Unable oh. to deal with that one. Can they knot it up at 10 here? What Break pace three, by and Martin is gone. One out to here hit in the a third. great ATP, you have to let it travel. Let it travel, let it travel, let it get low, Ryan get down, and count. hit him. Now it's only 12. Ball to knock I this don't know with Eli Jones. That's as good an ATP as we'll see perfect throw. execution. This is clearly anybody's game. Landry Page struck out in the first. Deacon right on top of that. Just hit it down a little, and look where we are. Game point number one for Jansen and McGuffin. Yes, he did. Dude. Jansen attacks in the middle. Henry goes all slump shoulders. That's the best. We got droopy after he heard yes, I did. Yes, he did. Watch. And take game one, 12 10. Again, on the corner, we got a punch up. Back to back strikeouts. Beach and Eli Jones has found a little arm we'll slot. We'll be back with that? game two right after the words from back our out sponsors. There, you punch don't want to miss out, punch any out. of this. Don't go anywhere. We'll 
loved his first warm-up pitch. Goes full pro hop and just fires it as hard as he can in. Time plus count. Elevate the fastball for a second strike out of the inning. Carson Martin, he steps in, pinch hitter. Ball. And misses off. A little more velocity from Eli Jones on that pitch. We're going to get that bullpen gate open so that the pitchers and catcher can run back in. We're going to do the same thing down the first baseline. Not sure why we just wouldn't wait between innings, but that's, we're bringing him back. And Ella was in a foot race. Five foot nine, Carson Martin. Carson's been out wet in the line since he was a little kid. He wants to be a professional fisherman. Right up your alley. Breaking pitch, got him. We are one ball, two strikes. He was way out in front of that. Come on, locked and loaded. Don't give up, Kristen. Don't give up yet. Carson is hitting for Ella Brooding. This is the spot she would have otherwise hit. All right, folks, Dave Fleming here. We are players. Back. All of them got to get at least one at bat. Game one between Jansen McGuffin. They're down 7 2. Fought off Fast the ball game right point. by him. And after the and one delay, strikeout with Martin. Strikeout with Pate. Another strikeout of Carson Martin. That'll work. Days one zip bottom three coming up on a Friday night at the Little League World Series. Stay along. Hard to get your paddle out of there sometimes. Right. Kind of then didn't hit that first volley where she wanted, and unfortunately for her, got tagged from the McGuffin. Welcome back. Now volley. we got a new pitcher. Miles McCarthy will come in from lead. short. Dylan Regala will go to short. Dylan has dealt with a medical emergency. Go back to August of 2018. This was real scary. A couple of days before a family vacation. Had some bad hip pain. After checking with a variety of different doctors, he was told to take Short some Tylenol. Murray, what happens next? On the first return. He goes into ICU. The they told us deep. that his organs Again, um, were literally we shutting go down when we got there. One of you out there has a time machine. So what does that become? We didn't that realize became how one, two, it was. three, four, um, forces you to take a time out. And so you, you go home after this get when he gets here. a little bit better, a but you had a setback again, Put some pressure back on Jansen and McGuffin. He started getting well. We went home. Home on Their antibiotics with a pick really line, and he got worse bouncing over there. and ended up being septic again and care flighted back to Dell Children's, and he was worse again, time out does and we almost lost run. him a second time, and we were back in the hospital. The first time you were in the hospital, you mentioned to me earlier off camera that it happened to be around this time, and so you were watching a little bit, a lot of Little League World Series, correct? Dink yes. catches the um, tape. We got them in Jansen on this table. In the hospital room, um, just Tim and there, me but, together uh, to because that we couldn't have all of our family to there. The ball. And we watched Longhorn Network and ESPN. Just Little League World Series was on, and that's all we watched all day. And McGuffin that's what made him happy. And he was just so excited to watch kids play baseball because that's what McGrath he loved to do. And and his brother had just finished his 12-year-old year, year playing is. state, and that's why we were on vacation because baseball had finished. So wow, there's the mic. baseball has always just on that dominated tape, all of our summer, and, Smoked and so that hit summer we that. finished Good a little swing. early and just ended on up on vacation and he took a twist. When you think about all that he's been through, and now here he is on the mound at shortstop at the Little League World Series. Go get it. Through your mind. Oh! Made the play too, Julie. Three outs, all made by your shortstop, Dylan Regala. Just how good God is, and how you can just Speaking come McGrath back. did not switch from there. Had McGrath heads up straight ahead. You just come back from near-death experiences and recover and end up at the World Series. Yes. End up at the World Series. Thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> what a story! What an inning.
That's that's fantasy. That's make believe. What a story. What a story. Way to go, Dylan. Way to go, mom and dad. Beautiful ATP by Deacon there. Jansen saw it coming, but then couldn't get the out of the way. ESPN's coverage of this Little League World Series presented by T-Mobile. You can well find Little League on Facebook, Deacon. Twitter, Instagram, at the official handles at Little League. Follow the action. Join the conversation. Hashtag LLWS. Over the Just years, we've had some incredible deep, stories tremendous. of kids, court coverage by parents Deacon who've there, been sick, recovered, some who unfortunately never were able to recover but got a chance to come here to watch their son or daughter play at the Little League World Series. That was one of those moments Again, right there. Where see the future. It's now Mom two, five, talking one. about Dylan twice, how they were so fearful that they were going to lose him. And then all of a sudden, he comes up with three great plays in the field. Right in the middle of mom welling up and sharing her story. And now it ends in a wonderful way. We're back with Kyle Peterson, Julie Foudy, Carl Ravitch. Sawyer Todd is now going to pitch for the team from Washington. Once again, trying to make sure that Eli Jones and Others are going to be available should they need him again, and you're going to need him again. Throughout that, and then the call is you you cannot step forward and push off the kitchen line. Well, Sawyer, and then only went take all, one like, step. No you must us. re establish that left foot that McGuffin well, pushed off on the hit the other head. That the whole is play? the call from Marie Curry. See, this the was a lot. Call. Now we're just quick go. And he gets a strike. So point. we've got a whole thing going with Sawyer Todd. We've seen that. Japanese pitchers often will balance on that back Good leg. Finish there by McGuffin. Shift their weight and fire. And that first pitch looked like that. Now we've got a little more here. conventional. Mm. He gets a pop up Game to two. left. And Suetia on us there, and that's one down. So this whole thing is going to be about kind of time this guy up, huh? I kind of like this. I've seen a few different looks already. Real slow the first time, real quick the, the second. Kind of normal to third. Forces the you error. Forget, I mean, after that time, early 12 years old. four nothing run, and really hit the they called timeout to and stop there. The size mark. of the baseball when it's in his hand. You know, he's got to use three fingers to get all the way around it. It's proven again that it's not necessarily how hard you throw. Amen. It's just the approach when it gets to home plate. You see my guy, the Brock star the other day, Brock Holt. Yeah. Quite the footwork <laughs> where he yeah. wanted there. Throwing an Ephus. Drop for Deacon. 58. <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah. 58 to like 85. Ball. I've seen on social Deacon media a lot of folks kind of looking for really that radar gun. Crack it. And in a lot of ways, when somebody's throwing the way that Sawyer is mixing it up, when you want to you'd love to see how, one swing, it how slow it is versus how fast he can ultimately get it. Not worried about this guy, you know, breaking some type of velocity record, but. What do we go with? This is Strowman, man. It's, it's the same thing. He comes up and oh, tries to show. <laughs> gets the shoulders going. Really I love this. Her dinks on the lob, and that's absolutely <laughs> what you well, want to do. I know Julie's next to sign. We've got to get to uh, well Rich long. Todd and the Todd family. Of course, Rich is the manager, so he's unavailable. But there's somebody who can explain <laughs> where this came from. Came from the television. <laughs> That's what's beautiful. It came from watching Marcus Stroman saying, "You know what? I think I might do that." Athletes. Oh. So he loses over that court. Dylan All Bruning. Court so Dylan Jansen will head down to first. Digging, digging, okay. digging, and then the Canadian has said, like "I've <laughs> seen like enough. I'm sending this one to Vancouver." Every time, yeah. All right, here we go. Hey, one out, one out. Be smart. <laughs> He's right. He does change that wind up every time. Major De Los Santos. Now up for Texas Southwest. Ball. McGrath saw it was on it, just couldn't quite get the paddle up far to enough. First. Oh, nice play the over there by Sanoff Chari going down to get it. That had extra bases written all over it. This one gets down in the corner. You never know. That could score a run. 
He gets by and rolls around for a while down there. So now the Chari started the game on the mound, moves over to first up. base, steals extra bases Still right there with a backhand play. And Deacon I got to see the shimmy again. To put that, get that going again. I have a feeling you're going to see one. Shallow center going out. Oh, he couldn't get it. A diving effort by Eli Jones just out of his reach. What an effort. He laid out. Little shaken up, too. Oh, what an effort by Eli Jones. He looked at his center fielder and said, I'm going to go. I know he didn't make the play, but this was this is beautiful just to watch. It's a great break by Eli Jones. We saw him start it short, go on the mound, and that is, I mean, that's a few inches. And if he's there, Great. that ball ends up Great. in his glove. I mean, if, if he can get Inside there, because it is just there. out of his reach. And it will be 12 again, because he lands like that, kind of shakes his head, takes the dirt out of his teeth, and heads back to shorts it up. Amazing the effort. Time, time. When, the, when, the, when the dink sails in the air, that gives you options like that. They've had the wind knocked well, out yeah, of yeah, him. Yeah. And that right arm gets stuck underneath him, probably hit that rib cage of his. Again, and the athletic trainers out there Backing checking the way, speed ups. You see that replay, you'll see that arm get tucked tough right to underneath and when you landed have four on. players of this caliber on the court. Jansen waiting for that one. Gets a yeah, barked at her from McGuffin with encouragement. That is full extension. Yeah, he did. I didn't see that. Landed on that right elbow, and it kind of jammed back into his stomach. Look All at right. that little. I think it's going to take quite a bit to, to get him off the field. By McGuffin. Carmen Terry, our Look trainer, the running out there, the University of, of McGrath. For medical center. He's able to get it. Do an awesome job. In fact, I was over there getting away. some physical therapy on my knee a few years ago, three. and they were unreal. Great, great people. All right, here's a pitch to Regala. He ball. waits on it. That's a ball. Brilliant. Jackson Wheeler will throw back to the pitcher. So you got a runner on first and Deacon third, which is always an interesting McGrath situation if you're in the Make sure his team is where they need to be and then finishes with the next one. Very firm, beautiful volleys by the Canadian. Ball. Well, it takes a while to get to home plate, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Great job by McGrath earlier in the point there. and. Unable there you to go. Hang with you it. like Here that you one, but that's McGuffin going to get out of play. Flying, Here at Lame, right over the roof. Flying all day, that. folks. Gilman Bruning is at third base. Great job by Jason Parrish is at first. A 2-1 count in Jansen. the top of the fourth. It's only a one nothing game. Anybody's game. Cooperative pickleball mixed doubles looks like. Jansen there we go. finishes. There's the pause. There's the fire. There's the ball to right center. Who's going to get it? The right fielder does, Logan Rausch. They were right close to each other, but Logan looked again at his outfield and said, I I've had this before. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You know what that is? That's a scoreless inning for Sawyer Todd. I'll show you a few different looks right here. We got the pause, we got the quick again. pitch. <laughs> Leaves it up. Then we get yes, this. Sir. Give it to us. Then we got this. That's a scoreless fourth in a one nothing one game. Out of one choice there. And it's 9-5. If you love this game, this is one of the great days of the year. Timeout not coming Those here, but you would think so. never forget they that. The rest of their lives, players take a trip down memory lane just a bit. For me, I always wanted to come here. I never got to come he here. He can pick himself up. Be a part of these kids' memories forever. Two beautiful be really staff special volleys there. Yeah. Win that one. It's 9 5 two. Joe Madden's going to come back. He, of course, was with the Cubs his first trip from Hazleton, Pennsylvania, not far from here. And he made his first trip with the Cubs, hadn't been here, and now he's going to come back with his Deacon angel, Shohei Otani. That's the trip we're all going to make. Air from McGuffin here at Lomini over to a store, Coleman Field. And and we are Hallmark. looking at a we set for the Sunday as I MLB at Little 10. League the Classic. The timeout does come from McGrath and Deacon. This is Harrison Militello. He'll bat. They have certainly bottom four starts. Only one hit so far for Washington. Ella Bruning had it. They're certainly 
Trying to get that ball. Check that Texas West Elaborate had one of the two hits. Only one hit for Washington. And that's that came off the bat of Eli Jones. Been more problematic as the precision of Anthony McGuffin has been there in this ball. game. Very few on the low stairs. for Miles McCarthy. You've got to get the ball down against a team like. This is a good matchup for both Kansas of these teams. You can sense they're, they're very equal in a lot of ways. That's a swing and a strikeout. They use Folks, a lot of different pitchers, rely on their defense. The pickleball is back here in Southern California. Huge crowd gathered. Yeah, watching that. Spread the Marie inning job today. Yeah. And here we are at match point. Here's our guy, Shimmy Shaker, Sawyer Todd. <laughs> Time that works. Got the ball back. They had a four-point run. Can I mean, they put yourself as a dad of a one again. And you see your son do that for the first time on a mound. And I know you've seen Stroman do it. You see your son do it. Dude. I know the way I do it. Like, what, what, hold on. What do we got going here? we got to explain this. Can you point up say, Dad, that's a scoreless fourth. I'm not sure if you're aware of it. Yep. Deacon ready for Good that work. attack. By I'll do Jansen. what I do. Good play by Miles There's McCarthy, who goes to first, off. and that takes care of Sawyer Todd. Dad, I got this. I'll do what I do. You do what you do, okay? <laughs> we'll talk after the inning. The old, the old UBU drop to your dad that. when you're 12. Comes that always way, goes over well. His momentum. <laughs> We're good. The jump. Ball sails wide. Excuse me, long, and we are. Now it's seven ten. Now number Within six, JJ three. Hamilton. Great bailout by McGuff in there. That looked like point number eight was coming. They were able to get a mistake. Can they keep it going on two? So these kids are all asked oh, what their nicknames are. When they don't have them, we make them up. Great job by okay. Jansen. So Hambone does doesn't have one. Where do you want to go with? Placing that power. It's not Hambone. <laughs> going somewhere else. Is it, that's just the appetizer. Here's match point number two. two. Yeah. Falcon. <laughs> Another one. Drop in the middle of the court. <laughs> too bit of a nickname not to apply it to numerous very teams. Very entertaining <laughs> battle goes to the two seed. Here we go, JJ. And the boy, the crowd he's off and running. The 12, they got 10, 11, best 7, hair they'll on be the moving team, on. So maybe you got to play off of and that. Deacon will be yeah. hoping to do damage in the back draw. What a great match. Dave Fleming here calling the USA Pickleball Newport yeah, Beach somebody Championships, has, uh, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll get an argument with on more the best great hair pickleball category. action after the these messages. Winners. Best hair on the team by his teammates. Red hair is enviable. Called Red Flow. JJ. Look at him choke up two or two strikes. He was halfway to first on that last swing, and the ball hadn't even hit the screen yet. So he's ready to go. That's high. That is way up on the bat. Oh, yeah. Choking up, just trying to punch it the other way, do something to give himself a chance. Boy, JJ's got him to a full count here, three and two. He's got a couple of brothers, William and Oliver, Timothy as well, so he's playing catch all the time with these guys. Ah, <laughs> oh, for the love three. of choking up, he's out. Thought Red Flow was going to take a hack at it, but he's going back to the bench. We're through four. It's one nothing Texas. Give me some spike perp. <laughs> Let's do it again Saturday. One three six eight. Huh. Help our little league viewers out at home. It's usually one three five seven, but Saturday we're going to go one three six eight. Start on ESPN, Tennessee and New Hampshire. ABC, you'll find us with Manchester, Connecticut, Tom's River, New Jersey. We're into elimination games now. Florida versus the loser of this one, Pennsylvania, Lafayette, Louisiana. It all goes so quickly. Want to get to one and one, zero oh and two, and you're. Championship season is over. Sawyer Todd, let's see what we start with. A little delay piece, and he fires way outside. Some 
investigative journalist, capital J, Julie Foudy, on the case to discover the, J at work. the origins yep. of Sawyer Todd's delivery. Yes, I'm with Sawyer's mom, Michelle. So, Michelle, this is amazing. <laughs> what is going on? What is the move? What is the move? So, yeah, so he uh, has basically started doing the shimmy, is what he calls it. He's got a name for it. His main move is the shimmy. And he started doing it, I think, during districts. Um, and uh, I think it's like a Johnny Cueto, like, you know, inspired move okay. that he's created. And it, it kind of, uh, he's got some good movement and good curveball, you know, action, so. <laughs> What, what about the foot dangle? Have we named that one yet? The foot wiggle. It's the foot oh, wiggle. Okay. Yeah, he does the foot wiggle or the shimmy, or the kind of his two signature moves. I, I think he actually went foot wiggle to shimmy in the same move. He might. I don't know. Sometimes that's kind of crazy doing both in the same pitch. Do they practice, yes. like, do they practice <laughs> in the kitchen? Like, where does this happen? <laughs> the guys want to know where this is being practiced. Does he, does it, does he do this in the kitchen? I don't even know. <laughs> She's like, oh, God, I don't know. He comes up with these things, but he, he's fun. It's fun, yeah. He's having a blast. Well, I think we should start naming each move, right, for him. Shimmy, wiggle, yeah. I think those are the two main ones. Maybe he'll come up with a third one during this. Serious, maybe. It's fantastic. Thank you, Michelle. That it is. It's a win. Yep. Jackson Riston is re-entered, and we got the leadoff man on after the yep. walk. We're shimmying. Yep, that's a slow roll. That one may. Uh oh, oh. What do we got here? Fair ball out at first base. Right along the line. Got to first base. And Snuff Chari kind of reached over the bag. I think it was going to hit the base. I think it was going to hit the base too, but I love the move because if it hits a base, it can go anywhere. And that's the one that goes off the end of the bat. And now it's it starts foul and it's going to spin back fair. Watch this. Off the end of the bat, now it's going to spin where it stays on it. Did it come back? Yeah, I think it came back right at the last minute. Very fair close. to foul, to fair to foul, they're out. Very close. Errol partner of USA Pickleball. Yes, sir. Let the record show that the out was on the shimmy. It was. And we just threw an Ephis Delecti in there. Who's the best Ephis pitcher you ever saw besides Brock Holt? Hold it. Brock Holt kind of had everything go. covered. I could play. There you go, bud. Strong after uh, Jackson Wheeler. Uh, yeah, outstanding. Granky's got a pretty good one. I've seen that a few times. Currently, yep. El Teonte, Louis Teon, long time ago. A little delecti. It almost looks like Sawyer, he's kind of, he pushes it to the plate like a, like me who doesn't know how to throw a knuckleball, I would just kind of push it out of my hand. Working. Two, two. Well, the great part about what he's doing out there, and this is so Little League, it's so great. It doesn't matter the count. Like we're not going to reserve that for an 0-0 no. count. We'll we'll uh -uh. drop it any time. There you go. I love his mom's approach. Go down. Go down. Go down. Right. Yeah. Know, he's made it up at district. And then, then, now he does it. Wonderful. The other team is fascinated by it too. You heard the. Base runner at first, last inning. He changes his delivery every time. Here we go again. That one's a little behind the hitter. And great too. You can see his teammates, Eli Jones. He encouraged. They're all, they're all rooting on Sawyer. You got one out here and a 3-2 pitch. And this one is to shallow right. Look out. Nice play over there. And just dropped. Boy, good effort. Walter Steinbach had it for a second, and it fell out of the glove. If I'm Walter, though, I'm thinking, all right, I have a wall. I got a ball, yeah. and I have this Sanaf Chari guy kind of going after the same ball I am. Big guy in front of me. I, I just hit the warning track. We got a lot <laughs> going on. This ball is driven to left. Suli Tion is there, tagging from second. Here's the throw, and yeah, it's I'm just off. Good. Really good read. At second base, Hunter Nelson got back, and he left right when that ball appeared to hit the glove of 
key on and left. How about the, the just knowledge of the game right there, too, for Carter Nelson? The minute that ball goes out to left field, he sees it's deep. He, he didn't need anybody else to yell at him and tell him to get back to the base. He was immediately back to the base to tag up. Now standing at third, pass ball, scores a run. All right, folks, welcome back. Next I mean, you can up, tell the ball's hit well, but watch this. Immediately recognizes it, keeps that body open, gets back seed. right foot on the back, and then McGrath and Deacon straight line into third. Battle with McGuffin and Carson Jansen. Martin and Sawyer and Todd. Had a little stare off. Megan Sheehan, Design, yeah, and yet. Morgan Evans. Again, we'll have one game to 15. We'll switch sides at. Eight. Washington crowd thought they had something. Thanks for tuning they were in this morning. Encouraging we're as the field Sawyer to a field closer to second. and closer to the gold medal match. We'll be switching to ESPN and Plus. Now we may actually have later can I, can in the I day, that? 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We'll switch over to ESPN Plus. Dad Rich, How do you get on ESPN Plus? You ask, well, on video let me review. tell you. You go to ESPN.com or download the iOS or See, Android It was very app. close. And you sign up or log in, click on schedule and replays, and then live now. We're now have to marry again up the image of the on left ESPN fielder. ESPN Plus catching it this afternoon. The base runner going and folks, back. folks, again, we are here you were home to play as at well. the USA what did you think? Pickleball Newport Beach Championships. It it's part of the play. USA Pickleball Championship Series. And, uh, What's that all that's about? Our, that's well, our producer and director making it real this challenging for the viewer at home because that we lead have to the other in the shot. I think he's going to stand Wonderful. at third base. That's what Not reviewable. Stay right there. Not Biggest reviewable. tournament right in all there. pickleball. That's the Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Get Championships. Get back to the more important the stuff. The Sawyer Todd Show. Garden at Indian Wells. People Agent are out here. A one nothing game. Tickets. I've seen them. All over the grounds here at the Pickleball Club at Newport Beach. Oh, when another you're one. They're not hitting it hard. It's hard to square it. Well, I mean, it's it's clearly the, the shimmy is, is throwing everybody off. So that was the double year. shimmy. I'm not sure if you saw it, but he shimmied before he came set. So here <laughs> and we then shimmy after he. Beautiful red, white, and blue logo. <laughs> front floor. We're just making it up as we go along. Which is absolutely wonderful. That's what we do. That's where we're at today. Join the crowd. Happy July 4th weekend to everybody. When this match gets started, started, nice word. When this match gets started, I don't get started, the sense we'll that Sawyer's right too stressed about it either. We're going to take a short break, and when we're playing pickleball, you will be seen. Well. Try to put yourself in the mind of Sawyer. When do you think he comes up with exactly what he's going to do on that particular pitch? Is it like now? Is it when it gets on the rubber? When I'd do like you to think? Throw. I don't know. I mean, maybe just when he lifts his front leg, and then we just kind of roll with it at that point. Whatever the spirits, whatever the spirits tell telling you. On the shells, going to record this one. What are we going with? Hesitation move outside. <laughs> Johnny Cueto, huh? A little bit of that, little Strowman. Got him, man, a boy. Sucker Todd, the magician. Reinventing the pitching position tonight. This is outstanding. <laughs> All right. Well, our head of uh, production of ESPN, Norby Williamson, has reminded us Bill Spaceman Lee once threw one of those ephuses to Tony Perez, and that didn't end well for the Spaceman. Bryce Eden's going to be thrown out. Carter Nelson at third base. All these substitute players have been used, and now we're back to the top of the order. This may be the last best chance for Washington to try to even this one up. Eli Jones, who made that terrific diving effort, seemed to have the wind knocked out of him, is ready to go. And he lifted one, that's foul, and it's going to get off the screen. There you go. <laughs> they can get to Kellen Kinney. He is third in the batting order and would be fourth this inning. He had the lone home run of the regional for this Washington team. Eli was an on-base machine. 63% of the time. 
And he does the same thing, and it's going to be the same result off the screen. Miles McCarthy doing a good job pounding that strike zone. There he is. See if Eli now tries to go back up the middle. He got jammed, and he Ball. tried to get out of the way of it. Eli just kind of looks like that kid that's good at anything. Yep, I hear you. Like ping pong, yeah, we're good. We'll do that. Give me a ball. We'll figure it out. Lawn darts. Yep, got it. That's a lost art, by the way. Good spoil there. Lawn, lawn darts? Yeah, you just don't hear about them anymore. Wasn't lawn dart guy growing up? No. Really? No. Oh, it's any time, like middle of the summer? I'm sorry. I know I missed out, obviously. Yeah, I apologize. Good spoil again. Get... Give me a little history on lawn darting. Uh, it's not too, not too complicated. You take darts? You take their lawn darts, yeah. I mean, and then you get a, a, like a hula hoop thing, and you put the hula hoop thing about 20 feet, 30 feet away from each other, and you try to throw it in. Sky Pretty high. Sky high. Is it like, was it like a derivation of Frisbee golf, where you'd throw a Frisbee into a, a bucket, like that concept? Uh, oh, I, I hear they're illegal. No, great. That sounds dangerous. Well, that's the way I was raised. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Stuff we used to do. Man. All right, never mind. Like, like sharp? Were they sharp darts? Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's dangerous. You don't yeah. want to go offline. It no. stings a little bit. No, no. No room for, no margin for error. I can see where that would be deemed probably not safe. <laughs> All right. Here's Logan Roush. Good conversation. Works really well. <laughs> right back up the middle. Slow roller. How about that? Regalas over there, and we get the out. Bottom of the fifth goes one, two, three. We're going to edit out the whole long dart convo. <laughs> and hopefully Sawyer Todd comes back, and we just forget all about it. And a good run. <laughs> Now we're back. This is Lomity. It is a Friday night top of the six and a good little league game here. Texas won Washington nothing. <laughs> We've moved on. Now we're going to focus on another concept. This one is brought to us courtesy of the Wiley Little League from Abilene. Julie, what do you have? So I was talking to them before the game and hammered down is the theme they have. They usually have a hammer. You see it hanging there in, in the, the dugout. But they didn't have the hammer, so they went into total panic mode. Next to that, you see a little picture. I went into full mom mode. I drew them a hammer because they didn't have one. I mean, artist that I am, they were going to hammer down with just that. Thank goodness. Mom the grounds, to the rescue. <laughs> the groundskeepers came to the rescue. Capital A for artist. We, that's right. <laughs> they looked at me and they go, look at it, it's hanging. Do you see it? I think, I think, I mean, I don't want to take credit for no. this if it turns out. Be a win, but Team Mom sorry. rallies Texas with the drawing of the hammer. <laughs> they go, they go. That looks like an axe. <laughs> yeah, a little right. bit. We've Hatch got it down. The teams on the court. Oh, Slight delay. It, I think it looks great. Everyone, take a it deep works. breath. Settle yeah. in. Certainly not as sharp as the old on LDs. The near side playing with oh. Megan Sheehan design versus Christine McGrath. Oh, I'm just glad I got it. Uh, hold on, we're gonna have a conversation side. with the pitcher. What do we got? Gonna have contact with the rubber. Yeah, a little contact Again, with the rubber. Again, this is one game to 15 in the backdrop. Hammer down, Kellen. McGrath to yeah. serve. Play. Miles McCarty, seven, eight, nine here for the Wiley Little Leaguers. Good fastball, and he fouled that one off. Good swing too from the Rips shortstop right who walked that tape. and then flew out Mic'd to left. up here for your audio enjoyment by Boxcar Productions. What was the pitch total there for uh, Doctor Deception? How many for Sawyer? In and out of the glove. That's a foul ball. I want to know when we're going to get a chance to to enjoy Sawyer again. We need to see that again. America needs to see that again. 38. So. And I got a feeling if you give him a day or two, 
<laughs> He's going to come up with Shane something. Shane Design <laughs> hanging in there, started well, you'll an attack. You realize people were kind of into that whole the thing. So he's going to go next level creativity. You like that. that. I got so one I call the lawn dart. Again, the one game of 15 will switch sides at eight. You got Save that for tomorrow. Oh. Down, that's going to be a lead off. Yeah. Loves to rip Great that big two hand Great job, Ken. Hey, that way to buy You're going to see some more serving chicanery. <laughs> With Evans. Battle good. Stay there. Hey, your first one on. You can try to sneak in there. You know what's wrong with that? A little too Have late. Have fun here. Not at it one. Stetson Newman. Inside, ball one. Stay in the box for me, bud. Nice attack down at the feet of ball. Evans. By Deacon. Oh, no. Deacon can't believe that one caught the oh. tape. Hit it on the run, though. When you're on the run, it can create an unexpected mistake. and design got a full oh. swing reset there <laughs> on the ball before that and could not fend off the next Kellen attack. Kellen Kinney looking in like I didn't get the one up, I didn't get the one down, I didn't get the one that was close to the corner on the outside. Where am I going here? He's looking around talking to his. And he's now going to have the same Ill conversation with his manager. Inside I don't get this. Down the middle where Deacon's just, just sitting there waiting right? for it. I didn't get it. It's okay. It's okay. I've been playing this fairly hey, you know straight up so far. Okay, just try best See if they switch right Evans and over to the left thing, side okay? of the court. All right. Oh, wait a second. If you need to, Jack. Did I hear somebody just mention the E word? I think we did. I think I heard somebody suggest we drop an Ethos in. Give me one here, Kellen. The solution to any pitching problem. <laughs> Slow go. That's a good bunt here, laid down by Curtis Skiles, and it's a nice play. Colton Skiles dropped it down, moved his runners up in a one nothing game. That's important. Shan Design not quite ready to curl. You go that second and third, one down, and a good job by Colton Skiles on the sacrifice. Got in a spot where the only play was going to be to first base, and it was not an easy play at that. Kellen Kinney came in, kind of spun his wheels a little bit. Beautiful. Had enough Overhead on that throw to get the, the first Aussie. down. Now two on, and Texas turns a lot of Evans. Now back to the top, and Kaysen Ball. Looks at ball number one, Kaysen Parrish. I'm feeling Kellen Kinney. i understanding where his head's at right now. Nice attack yeah. there. Probably why the design is pulling everything that on the attack. High, so we're two and oh, he's frustrated. He's the whole plate umpire seems a little ahead, frustrated. Time and space away from McGrath. Great attack by McGrath of the third that sails a little high off the Evans paddle. Ball. That time, Sheehan designed catches. Me and Eli are having a good Deacon conversation sneaking here about what into the next. middle. Knots us up at three. You think he's suggesting an ethos? <laughs> I don't know who suggested it the first time. I just, I just heard it on the, caught it on the mic. Here we go, Kellen. You don't want to ever show up Good an umpire. Umpire. That's a mistake, and I agree way. here. You don't ever want to do I, that. Shan Kellen Dizan. was showing up the umpire, the sort of celebrating answer. a strike call, and you can't do that. And here's a good job. I'm going to pretend I'm exchanging baseballs, but I, I respect that too. That's a conversation that had to be had. You cannot it, do that. It, it did, um, and you could tell how frustrated he was early when his head coach came out too. I mean, at the end of the day, the zones the zone. Great yep. job. By Evans. Isn't always fun if it's not a zone that you don't like. But when they throw you can't a lot, control. But if you see your opponent on retreat, chase to the kitchen line where you lobbed a great job. Now 3 2. It's a big at bat here for Casey Parrish in a 1 nothing game, trying to move into the winner's side. 
And, and the boy, the loser side going 0-1 in game. the double elimination tournament. 3-2. Three, 3-3 two. Three, three gets the call on the corner. And a big, big second out. Shane Bazan doing some calisthenics. Pretty big pitch right there. You keep the one nothing, just one swing away from tying this thing in the bottom half. And after having a hard time finding the zone, works himself all the way back. Casey Parrish had made his mind up. He was going to take that one. He took it right over the outside part of the play. Good matchup here, Dylan Regala. You've heard about Dylan's story. So happy he's doing really well and made his way to the Little League World Series with his family. Evans was definitely there. Baseball on family it through and through. Punched it a little wide. Not at five. Oh one. Oh and two. Man after your own heart right Great there. Attack. Favorite food? By Shan is on there. It's not bacon, it's steak. Both are correct. A full swing at that, but was late. Oh, ooh, quick pitched him there, and he just missed. One, two. That ball is ripped by Sheehan Bazan. And the wind, slight ocean breeze, pulled that block just a little bit wide by Deacon. Dylan Regala just came out of his shoes. I mean, that and swing, he had, he had everything behind it so that he fell Deacon. down. Look at this, unrelenting. Take that. They're trying to hit it up to the museum. Great job by Sheehan Dazan, and they're back up to That's high. Here comes the run from third and race home. Close play, but safe at home, and a big second run is scored. Really good hustle from Miles McCarty on a close one at home. Sheehan Dazan saw something. Jump right there, too, because Jackson Wheeler, the, the catcher, there, got back there in a hurry. Bounce, pulled it Maybe gets there bounce, in time if it's perfect. Attack. But Jump was enough. Front feet just slide in there. and One seems like a lot to add. Yeah, great right does. defense there by Sheehan Dazan. Has two that in arsenal as well. And as I mentioned, we'll switch sides at eight. And Sheehan Dazan balls, two strikes, two down. Have the lead. They're the eight seed. McGrath and Deacon, the seven. First one to 15, win by two. And again, we are at the Pickleball Club the at Newport Beach. Perfect day. 385 hitter in the regionals pickleball. with Lots two homers. Fans enjoying this oh. high level action. McGrath and Deacon need to get the ball down. Good AB. Hey. Out of that Shan Design strike zone. She's really been bringing it. Uh, Evans and Sheehan design comfortable with the, how they're hey, going here. McGrath and it, Deacon. No, you, do, you do great, man. You're fine. Just need to slow go. that down, find the places right, to attack, and when it's there, Lo Logan, go to it. second. They have seen some hey, wild swings right? hey, from Sheehan design. Relax, all right? Look at, hey, when the ball here, was not fun, in an right? attackable position. We've already had a goal. It's to get here. Let's just have fun doing it, right? 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 Carter Nelson. You're right, he is a big deal. Swing and a miss. That and one is laced in the left field one. on the first pitch he sees. That brings in the third run. Hustling into second it. is the throw, and it gets away. Now coming home. And that is another run. They score two runs as a little self-destruction by see. Washington here. Sand is not Late. disguising anything. Step back a little Good hustle, forehand. really good hit from Carter Nelson. And a three spot makes it four nothing. Didn't waste any time. First pitch that he saw right here. Carter Nelson comes in. Alder Steinbach just into the game. Little fastball that's up in the zone. That's a pretty good approach to it, huh? The Canadian was on Short the barrels it up to left. She and Design and Scores two, turns. two more. Now three in the sixth for defense Texas. Defense into defense into defense into offense and get the ball back. Birdie Martin. This one may find. The field it does, and rounding and scoring, Big another pace. run, Hi. Carter Nelson. On the Deacon body the there. Seeing eye, single in the left. Evans and Shandazan feeling good about heads up. Shandazan in front of the draft. Staying on that one, trying to drive it out to left the entire time. I like this. Jackson Wheeler, the catcher, brought everybody in. I think it's just kind of one of those, listen, we're all right. 
phenomenal. Still got a chance to hit the bottom half. Just get out, get, get out of this one. Try to and keep Deacon it right where it is. Tried to run that down and hit an ATP and slam it. They really, a very really like each other. Get along. Stand up for each other. Court. Steinbach set to deliver. Ball. Does not choose to call a timeout there. Great effort. And design oh. smokes that one about oh, no. halfway up the net. Oh. Run around attack in the middle was definitely ill advised by Shan Design unless she meant to hit the yeah, tape the score, and then it was every perfect. Pitch. If it's your child, oh, every oh. pitch is the <laughs> biggest yeah. pitch of all time. That's the truth. This is the moment. This is my guy. Unbelievable hands what? here. Deacon attacks. Yeah. attacks. Landry laces attacks. one to left. Nice play. Did he hold on? No, he didn't. The throw in is bobbled. Oh, what an effort. Sule Tion had it for a second and just came out of his glove. Landry paid him about as hard as any ball he hit tonight. Wasn't able to yeah, he did. It around the post, so that was Sule a WTP with the wide of the post. Break on this, too. He comes all the way in, slides. He's in exactly the right spot. Just kind of <laughs> travels down his glove of the, as he dies and just falls out, but had himself in the right position. There's that big swing all day. I Love to see her at the. Don't worry about it. Coach, hey, hey, look. Hey, 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 man, hey. You know what? Just just ripping everything cross court with the big swing. Eli, let me decide on that, okay? Thank you. Okay, hey, you know what? You're doing fine, bud. All right? You're throwing strikes. Look at it. You know, things didn't go our way. With, him, with with the cat, couple plays, no big deal. Just come out there, hammer strikes, right? That's what we're gonna get Great there. Finish yeah, right. by you got this, buddy. Hey, enjoy being on the mound, right? Yeah, I'm fun. Yeah, I'm fun to execute the hot five right. with his partner <laughs> there, swinging it. Look at our guy, Eli. What was the suggestion, Coach? What about the headphones? <laughs> Eli wanted to review. <laughs> he wanted to go to the booth on that one. <laughs> oh. Eli's directing traffic Great now. We got two five. down. She and Design getting here's well Ella Bruni. She got it all started, started off. Opportunities, but again, love to see her take that backhand down the line for the one instead of consistently cross court. Deacon's going to be on. Like a football signal caller broke out. 12 14, 12 14. Ella does it again. There you go. Ella Bruni has got two hits tonight. And she is back to first base. What a night for the <laughs> little leaguer. Tripping on the line or the bag. <laughs> Sees that the forehand is female to play here. Banged into that bag, fell down, but she's smiling. She design, sat on that. Not on the one but two of these tonight. I like the first hit three. of the game for Texas. Look at the head stay right on it. Looks that ball get deep, fires it out to right field. Ball. But Ella, she's catching a shutout. She's got two hits. That ball is hammered to center. It'll stay up. It'll be caught by Kellen Kinney. Can't attack, of course, and that will do it here. Again. But they get a crooked number, a big time crooked number. Friend. Smiles all around. Great. I apparently had a deprived childhood. <laughs> Lawn darts with the seventies cornhole. And she and design. Uh, we learn that. Lawn jarts are now the new thing, a lot safer looking than Expect what some of the people grew up here playing. That right, last chance for Kellen Kinney and company down a six spot. Looks like they're going to just play. This is match point. That sails deep. It's even better than a timeout. Allen's got the ability to ride one out of here. Oh, he hit that so hard. That's going to get Shin hard to the wall. Rips it down and he the is flying. I'm not sure he's thinking about McGrath. putting the brakes on, but he has to because the ball is right in front of him. Sheehan, Design, and Evans will advance. All right. 
Good battle on both sides. Well, you get it started right there. Kelly Kenny, we talked about those hands. Morning. We're here at the beautiful we'll a lot of guys hit like pickleball this. club at Newport and Beach. Separated and separated right there, but more great it works for him. That ball smoked in the left center for field here. for a lead off Don't double. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, there's that swing. That's elevated. That leaves the building. What do we got here? A little pitching change. Miles McCarthy's Sarah. night is over. Guys. Reggie Regala getting into the pitching moves now. Pretty good day here. We got a no-hitter. We got a starter with 15 hey, punches. Four. Four, okay. And hey. Ella Bruning tonight in our guys. game was the feature star coming in, and she's done nothing to disappoint with two hits. Only the third girl to have two hits in the same game at the Little League World Series. 20th all time. She has been outstanding. So our Little League field at a glance. The teams that are 1-0 are certainly in a good spot. You go back just two years ago, 2019, Louisiana. They lost their first game and managed to win the whole thing. How unique is that? It's the first time that happened since like 2001. So winning really works in the first game. Yeah, it tends to help. You also get an extra day off. I mean, if you play day one and win, you get two full days off before you come back and play. You know, what's unfortunate for everybody, especially the players though, the experience that they would otherwise experience at the Little League World Series is the autograph thing and the signing and you become wildly popular amongst the people here. So they are missing on that part of this deal, which stinks for them. It's really not what this experience has been all about in the past. But then again, think about all the teams that wanted to be here, and these guys are here, and they don't seem to be suffering too badly. I think they're still enjoying it. I do, too. Kids from Hawaii, the kids from Nebraska. Nebraska had the Go Big Red champ going today. Yeah, they did yesterday. Excuse me. It's an off Chari. Big swing, that's a strike. Landry Pate looks good with the first one. And a slow roller to McCarthy, tough hop, has time, got him at first. Back to third, diving in, ooh, big turn. That's a heads up play over there at first by Brody Martin, throwing behind Kellen Kinney. He was aggressive on his turn, and that was a heck of a play by both Martin and Nelson, third and first. Miles McCarthy, too. He's just on the mound, goes out to short. He didn't field it cleanly right at the beginning, but he also didn't panic. Stayed with it. Strong throw over to get the first out of the inning. Defensively, what? you don't really care what that guy's doing at third base right now. You're just looking for two more outs. I love Ellis. Just gets it and gets it right back. She's not even paying attention to the base runner at third. You can do whatever you want down there. I'm getting it back in my pitcher. And now she gives it a little more of a look. She's in that crouch that it goes right back to Landry Payton. We'll let you deal with him over there. You got to throw it at me. We'll tag him out. Uh, base hits now. Base hits. You like base hits. Yeah. Thank you. And original Two down. Big James Ort, the third. Paints. Strike one from Landry Pate. Landry's the closer. I know it's not a safe situation, but you see, we're going to get him a little work. We're off tomorrow. Be good under 20, no problem. Now we're up 0-2.
What a great block. Just a great block. Ella is a wall back there. Very hard to see a ball get by her. This is a tremendous play. I don't think one ball has got by the entire day. I don't think there's been one go to the backstop. Not on this side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Strike three, Ooh. that's it. She gets up, celebrates a two-hit night in Texas. The Wiley Little Leaguers win it by a final score of six to nothing. Instead of the traditional handshake with the teams that you see most often after the Little League games, they raise their caps to the opponent, then they turn around and raise it to their friends and family that are here. And a really good start for the Wiley Little Leaguers.